raised in, to new life like the rest we were by nature the, the best the deserving uh, of wrath because uh, but because of his great l love for us God who is rich in mercy made us alive with Christ even when we were dead in transgressions uh, it it is by grace you have been saved and God raised us up with Christ and seated us with him in the heavenly realm in Christ Jesus in order that in the coming ages he might show the incomparable uh, riches of his grace expressed in his kindness to us in Christ Jesus. Holy Spirit, I am so thankful that you live in me, not a couple of dogs. I rest in your promised presence. I surrender to your restraint and your peace when temptation comes my way. Thanks for this good news. Amen. Where is your focus? Since then you have been raised with Christ, set your hearts on things above where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. Set your minds on things above, not on earthly things. For you died and your life is now hidden with Christ in God. Christ, I praise you for the death of my sinful nature with you on the cross. Shift my focus away from who uh, I once was but am no longer. Set my heart on you, reigning in grace and righteous with the Father. Amen. It is all starts with what you think. Do not lie to one another since you have taken off the old self with its practice and have put on the new self which is being renewed in knowledge in the image of its creator. His divine power has given us everything we need for a a, go a godly life through our knowledge of him who called us by his own uh, glory and goodness through these he has given us his uh, uh, very great and precious promises so that through the, uh, them you uh, may pr uh, participate in the divine nature Heavenly Father, I don't want to be uh, conform to the uh, twist uh, thinking of the world. Renew my mind, for transport me according to what is true about my true identity and my new self. Amen. It all starts with what you think. Do not lie to one another since you have taken off the old self with the pra uh, practices and have put one on the new self which is being renewed in knowledge in the image of its creator. His divine power has given us everything we need for a godly life through our knowledge of him who called us by his own glory and goodness. Through this, he has given us his very great and precious uh, promises so that through them you may participate in the divine nature. Father, I don't want to be conformed to the toys thinking of the world. Renew my uh, mind, transform me according to what it's true about me, uh, my true identity, and my need. Good question. So, I say live by the Spirit and you will not uh, gratify the desire of the sinful nature. 
for the sinful nature desires what is contrary to the uh, spirit and the spirit what is uh, contrary to the sinful nature they are in conflict with each other so that you do not do what you want so I say walk by the spirit and you will not gratify the desires of the flesh for the flesh desires what is uh, contrary to the spirit and the spirit what is contrary to the flesh they are in conflict with each other so that you are not to do whatever you want but if you are led by the spirit you are not under the law jesus give me the wisdom to recognize my flesh by for by the power of your word and the counsel of your holy spirit teach me more about this physical opponent in which life so that i can be led by your spirit and live free from the oppression of the law amen figuring out the flesh you battle if someone else thinks that uh, uh, th things they have reason to put confidence in the flesh I have more Circu circumcised on the eighth day of the people of Israel of the tribe of Benjamin a Hebrew of Hebrews in regard to the law a Pharisee as for zeal persecuting the church as for righteousness uh, based on the law faultless but whatever we gain to me I now consider loss for the sake of Christ what is more I consider everything a loss because of the suppressing uh, word of knowing Christ Jesus by Lord for whose sake I have lost all things I consider them garbage that is uh, that I may gain Christ Heavenly Father God teach me to recognize my flesh flavor and patterns so that I can reject them and I live in intimate dependency on your son Amen I am convinced of this. The Lord led me to uh, telling the truth about eight months ago during a challenging period in my life, providing daily encouragement and a spiritual guidance in walking with the Lord. My heart is still broken but is filled with the love of Jesus, my faith and belief in God has never been stronger telling the truth has been with me in the beginning and continues to be with me through life's journey thank you for all you do for all of us figuring out the flesh you battle part two the acts of the flesh are obvious uh, sex uh, sexual immorality impurity and the bounce the bouncery idolatry and uh, witchcraft heart rate discord jealousy fits of rage selfish ambition dissensions factions and navy and envy darkness or orgies and the, the like as you so foolish of the beginning of means of the spirit you are uh, are you now trying to finish by means of the flesh spirit vanial flavored flesh is uh, van, uh, vanilla flavored flesh is so com uh, common it almost seems right but take me out of that losing battle I quit trying to hack of uh, one uh, uh, aspect of my uh, sin in my own strength 
I rest in you today. I cease trying uh, on my own. I choose to let you live through me instead. Amen. Figuring out the flesh, you battle part three. Oh Jesus, thank you for coming. Thank you for receiving just the way I am. Thank you for giving me another option to the flesh. Thank you for showing the way to live according to the spirit. Thank you. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen.